What's up, fellas? I've got a 1999 Ford F350, and I'm gonna use it to point out to you the location of some important fuses and the relay for the operation of the uh, air conditioning as well as for the blower motor. So uh, there's two that are gonna be in the, uh, the fuse box that's located behind this little cover here. And uh, to get to them, you just rotate these pins counterclockwise. Now the two fuses for us to check are going to be 22 and 24. They're located right here. So this one is fuse 22. That's important for the operation of the blower motor relay. This 10 amp fuse, 24, that's going to be vital for the operation um, actually sending power to this cluster right here where you actually control the heat and the AC. The blower motor it's going to be down here. So this is your blower motor relay. You can try tapping on it to see if it unsticks. You can swap it with uh, these other relays, although they're vital for the operation of the car. This is the PCM relay. That's the fuel pump relay. So if you swap it with one of those, the truck may not run. But if it doesn't run after you swap it, you know that's the problem. Now, as far as the fuse goes, that 40 amp fuse, that's going to be for the blower motor. And the speed of the blower motor is controlled by the ground circuit. Now I'm going to talk to you about the AC. There is no AC uh, relay. Um, when the AC is in the on position, it sends power first to this pressure switch. If this detects that the pressure is too low, it will interrupt the circuit. Um, the power comes from the purple. And if there is adequate pressure and the switch is working properly. It will pass the power to this other wire, the little brownish red wire there. That then goes to another pressure sensor, which is actually installed into this line here. Kind of tough to see, but the uh, connector for it is right here where my, where my middle finger is. That does kind of the opposite of what the other pressure sensor does. It detects to see if the pressure is too high and if the pressure is too high it will interrupt the power uh, if both of the switches are working properly and uh, the pressures are where they should be the power is then supplied to that connector right there on the compressor itself to lock the clutch so yeah i hope this was helpful uh, let me know if you guys have any questions or more importantly any tips about troubleshooting the ac or the blower motor on your f-350